Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy and the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, stocks have been rising in their respected prices because the Federal Reserve Chairman named Jerome Powell told lawmakers that he still expects to cut interest rates later this year. However, he doesn't want to do it right now, and this gave investors great confidence in a future catalyst for the general stock market. Essentially, once the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell decides to cut interest rates, this will act as a positive catalyst for the stock market, which will increase the prices of various stocks. And this would lift the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones. Overall, this was a very positive news update because it indicates to investors that a catalyst is coming up for the general stock market. So investors need to brace themselves for that, which is great news. Next, let's talk about OpenAI and Elon Musk, because if you recall, in a previous news update, we told you that Elon Musk is suing OpenAI. Essentially, Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla, recently filed a lawsuit accusing OpenAI of straying from their mission, because he says that they are now seeking profits over benefiting humanity. However, in response to this, OpenAI published a a blog post containing emails from Elon Musk allegedly, who sent these emails while he was still a part of that organization. The emails essentially said that Elon Musk wanted OpenAI to shift to a for-profit business model with Elon Musk himself as their CEO. His justification for this was saying that billions of dollars are going to be needed to compete against companies like Google, so he suggested merging Tesla with OpenAI as Elon Musk himself as the CEO. As of right now, we don't know if these emails are authentic from Elon Musk himself, but I would highly doubt that OpenAI would fabricate these emails. So we are seeing a lot of tension between Microsoft and Tesla, as well as OpenAI and Elon Musk. Microsoft is a heavy investor into OpenAI, and Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla. So there is a lot of tension here. Therefore, this could cause even more volatility in Tesla's share price. And if you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which specializes in energy storage, energy generation, as well as artificial intelligence. As of right now, that is the latest information on this particular news update. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Next up, let's talk about Disney, ticker symbol DIS, and they are in hot water right now. For those of you who don't know, Disney is an entertainment behemoth, and they have loads of intellectual property. And right now, two hedge funds, which each own a large chunk of this entertainment behemoth, are tangling horns with the company's CEO, who is named Bob Iger. Both of these hedge funds and Bob Iger have very different and competing visions for the future of this company from one another. As of right now, they are brainstorming new ways on how to get Disney's stock back on a track, and at least have it bounce back in the respected share price. But there was also a mystery investor that recently entered the chat as well. Apparently, this unknown investor bid $100,000 for 500,000 votes. And these votes would normally cost around $55 million if they were purchased through the company's shares themselves. However, this investor is taking another way around. Therefore, we have four parties which are all disagreeing with each other about Disney's future. We have two hedge funds, Bob Iger and this unknown investor. So until this is figured out, Disney's share price could experience dramatic swings up and down in the meantime. But I'm going to keep you updated to determine when is the best buying opportunity to get into Disney. Because I've already been nibbling at this company as it is. I like to buy companies when there is uncertainty within the company during the short term, so right now I am using this to my advantage. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below if you personally hold Disney stock in your portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Coinbase, ticker symbol C-O-I-N, ticker name Coin, which is a cryptocurrency exchange company. The reason why Coinbase is in the news is not only because Bitcoin has reached a new record high just to pull back shortly afterwards, but apparently there was a glitch in Coinbase's interface. Coinbase users complained recently that their balances in their accounts were zero. And this would be the second time that this cryptocurrency exchange had a glitch in the same week. Coinbase has also experienced a long history of outages and errors. And normally these happen when Bitcoin has surged in its respected price. Therefore, I think investors need to be cautious not only about investing into this company's stock, but also using their platform to invest into cryptocurrencies. So 
make sure to stay safe. Next up, let's talk about some artificial intelligence stocks regarding the best AI stocks to buy, starting off with none other than NVIDIA. The reason why NVIDIA is in the news today is because a few of their directors have sold loads of stock recently. NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, is known for their GPUs, which are utilized in various artificial intelligence platforms. But recently, one of their directors sold approximately 200,000 shares of this company to where he had a payday of $170 million. But that's not all, because another director also recently closed a sale of 12,000 shares worth around $4.2 million. Over the last few months, about 261,072 shares of this company have been bought by insiders, while around 545,571 shares were sold by insiders. Now let me remind you that this is not bad news. Most of these sales were already forecasted and established ahead of time. So it's not like these directors are selling shares because something is wrong with this company internally. Rather, it's quite the opposite. They are cashing in because this company is doing so well right now. But the AI market is so much bigger than just NVIDIA. For instance, we're also going to talk about ARM Holdings, Advanced Micro Devices, and Broadcom. Let's start off talking about ARM, ticker symbol ARM, ticker name ARM, which has recently expanded its mobile and data center business. Analysts absolutely love the expansion that ARM is undergoing right now in these various segments, and they see significant upside potential, to where they raise their price target up to $160 per share, which equates to a 20% upside potential for this company from current levels. This naturally will reflect positively in their share price, so I hope that investors are paying attention to this. But next up, let's talk about NVIDIA, AMD, and Broadcom all at once, because they also received new price targets. Due to artificial intelligence momentum, the price targets for NVIDIA have increased from $850 up to $1,000 per share. Likewise, Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO, also got a price prediction increase from $1,450 up to $1,550 dollars per share, which is great news. And then lastly, we have AMD, which stands for Advanced Micro Devices, which received a price target upgrade from $200 up to $235 per share. So this is absolutely amazing news for all of these companies. For context, AMD is currently trading at around $211, Nvidia is trading at around $902, ARM is trading at around $140, and Broadcom is trading at $1,375 per share. When we look at the broad range of analysts, there is upside left in all of these companies thanks to new AI momentum in the market, so you would be wise to take advantage of these investments. However, always make sure to do your own research on any and all of these companies to ensure that they are a good fit for your personal portfolio. But we're also going to talk about two other AI stocks as well, which would include Palantir Technologies as well as C3.ai. Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies, and this company specializes in artificial intelligence. Palantir Technologies has already delivered impressive gains to investors of around 38% just in the beginning of this year. However, Palantir is not the only company that is benefiting from this growing AI demand for AI software, because now let's talk about C3.ai or C3AI, ticker symbol AI. Now before we get into it, you should know that I personally do not hold C3.ai in my portfolio, but I do hold Palantir Technologies. But this doesn't mean that C3AI isn't going to be good for your portfolio. Portfolio. So let's go over their details. Ever since C3AI posted their fiscal 2024 third quarter results, the company's share price has jumped by around 24%. This company is a pure play AI enterprise software company, which has already seen their revenues grow by 18% year over year. As an example, in the most recent report, analysts thought the company would bring in $76.1 million, but they actually brought in $78.4 million, thus beating expectations. And the same goes for their earnings, considering that Wall Street thought that the company would bring in a loss of 28 cents per share, but C3 actually brought in a loss of only 13 cents per share. That means C3 AI beat on both their revenue estimates as well as their earnings per share predictions. Now you should be aware that unlike Palantir Technologies, C3.AI is unprofitable, which is why I personally would rather invest into a profitable company like Palantir. But you may not want to discount C3 AI, because recently the company has struck more than 36 deals worth $1 million or more in the previous quarter alone. 
On top of that, they also reported four deals between five and ten million dollars, which is an increase from their original zero that they brought in a year ago. So this does indicate that C3 AI is indeed moving in the correct direction, and they could be a fantastic long-term AI software play. Lastly, you should also know that C3.AI is trading at a cheaper value than Palantir Technologies, and here's what I mean. Palantir Technologies is trading at 26 times their sales. Meanwhile, C3 AI is trading at only 14 times times their sales, which makes C3 AI a better value. However, I would add that these metrics are misleading, because we have to discount their future accounting ratios off of their growth rates. And since Palantir is growing faster than C3 AI, therefore they deserve a higher accounting ratio in regards to their PS and PE ratio. Therefore, these companies are much more comparable than these accounting ratios would make them seem at face value, so please also be aware of that. But overall, I would recommend that you do your own research on both of these companies before you make an investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Micron Technology, ticker symbol MU, which I do personally hold in my portfolio. The reason why Micron Technology is in the news is because recently an analyst put a buy rating on this company by increasing it from a hold rating, and then they also increased their price target from $80 up to $120 per share. And for context, the company right now is trading at around $98.38 per share. According to the analyst, Micron is in a sweet spot Spot right now, which could drive future expansion for this company, especially now that they are connected to artificial intelligence. Therefore, the future of this company looks bright, especially as AI momentum continuously keeps the stock market afloat. In general, analysts overall are very bullish and positive on a Micron, ticker symbol MU, and they have a buy rating on this company. But they're not the only ones. I personally have a buy rating on this company, and Seeking Alpha authors also have a buy rating on a Micron. So again, I would recommend that you do your own research on this company, do a deep dive into it, and if you feel like investing into this company and you're confident, then go for it. But if not, feel free just to add it to a watch list. Next up, let's talk about Rivian, ticker symbol R-I-V-N, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer. This electric vehicle startup company is in the news because they recently released their new electric SUV, which was worth only around $40,000, which is relatively cheap for an electric vehicle. But the even better news, in my opinion, is that some analysts increased this company to a buy rating. So let's talk about why they did that. Recently, Rivian unveiled the R2, which is a smaller and cheaper next-gen generation electric vehicle in their lineup. Like we said, the price of this electric vehicle is only $40,000, which is cheap for an electric vehicle, and on top of that, it qualifies for a $7,500 inflation tax credit. So you could literally get this company within the $30,000 range, which is very impressive. As of right now, the R2 SUV will be produced by Rivian in their Georgia factory, and production of the R2 is anticipated to begin in 2026. The company's chief executive had to say this about the R2, and I quote, the R2 represents the essence of our brand. While targeting the significant mid-size SUV segment, a massive market with limited compelling EV options beyond Tesla. He goes on to say, We remain very bullish on the R2 segment and the R2 product itself. We have engaged with our suppliers to ensure that we can ramp effectively as we are laying out the production roadmap. And due to this recent enthusiasm, a Jefferies Group analyst initiated coverage on this company and he gave them a buy rating with a $16 price target, and they are currently trading at only $11 per share, so this is great news for Rivian. Now let's talk about a company that did not receive good news, and that would be Fuel Cell Energy, because their revenue recently dropped, which was catastrophic for their share price. Fuel Cell Energy recently reported a fiscal first quarter loss, which was narrower than what Wall Street anticipated. According to the article, Fuel Cell reported a fiscal first quarter loss of $0.05 cents a share on revenue of $16.7 million. Meanwhile, analysts thought the company would post a loss of $0.08 cents per share on revenue of $25.7 million. But if you look at these metrics, this was actually a mixed result. For instance, since the company only brought in a loss of $0.05 cents instead of a loss of $0.08, cents, that's actually positive news for this company regarding their earnings per share. Now, clearly their revenue came in lower than expectations because Wall Street thought the company would bring in at $25.7 million, but the company only brought in $16.7 million. But if we had to compare which of these 
companies are better between earnings per share and revenue, earnings per share is the thing that is more important here. Therefore, I wouldn't say that the entire earnings report was bad. These are actually mixed results, and I think investors are overreacting a little. However, there is light at the end of this tunnel, because the chief executive said the following. He said, we expect that this quarter's performance will be the low watermark of the fiscal year due to an increase in operational generation assets during the quarter and expected product sales over the balance of the fiscal year. Essentially, in simple terms, this company is experiencing a slight hiccup, and once that hiccup is overcame, then this company's future is going to be rather bright. But it seems that until investors see the light at the end of the tunnel, this company will continuously drop in their share price, and that's why they've already dropped around 64% over the last 12 months. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Next up, let's talk about a stock that recently surged by over 200%, and that would be none other than Alitis Technologies, ticker symbol L-Y-T. This is a foreign company that is based over in Dubai, and they recently launched their Lightest Cloud, which is a suite of cloud infrastructure services focused on serving clients over in the United States. Essentially, this cloud is designed to meet the escalating demands of enterprise computing, and they want to tap into that $325.9 billion market for data centers. Lightus Technologies is anticipated to be a major player in the cloud computing sector, with plans to rapidly expand from here on out, and that's why the company's share price jumped by around 211% during the pre-market, up to $7.20 per share. However, in the short term, I believe this company could easily break above $9 per share before pulling back in the respective price, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Lastly, we have a Costco stock, which has recently traded at a record high, and you should also know that their earnings are coming up, so this is going to be a huge milestone for Costco, ticker symbol C-O-S-T, ticker name COST. This company is a wholesaler, and I personally hold them in my portfolio, and their stock has been a very reliable source of wealth for me personally. This company has consistently delivered strong financial results, and they have even recently given investors a $15 a share special dividend. On top of that, they also brought in a record number of membership renewals and consistent sales growth over the long term. So that's why this company has been a pillar in my personal portfolio. According to the article, Costco's dominant warehouse position, unique value proposition, shopping experience, and ability to manage its supply chain and inventory drive its competitive advantage, end quote. And I completely agree with that analysis. The reason why Costco is in the news right now is due to their upcoming earnings report, and by the time you watch this video, their earnings would have already been released. So I'm going to inform you what Wall Street is forecasting for this company. As of right now, analysts are expecting that Costco will post earnings of $3.63 per share on revenues of $59.1 billion for its second fiscal quarter. Therefore, if Costco beats on these earnings and revenue estimates, the share price could go even to newer highs and higher highs which is great news for investors. But then again, the opposite is also true. If they bring in mixed results, this wouldn't be very good for the company, but it would be great for me. Because if this company does decrease in their share price, I'm just going to buy more of it. Clearly, it's possible that the rally will continue, but regardless about what happens, I'm going to make money either way. So I would love to hear your thoughts about Costco and any of the other news stories that we covered today. Go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment your thoughts down below about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.